like creating fake feuds with your cousin Jerry Lawler. How'd that work out for you? And if you ended up in the same ring with me, you'd find out very fast that your shake, rattle, and roll is no match for my mind control. I mind control. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a question in there. Well, but, uh... it'd take me about two seconds to kill this motherfucker. I mean, I'd, I'd, well, first thing I'd do is bitch slap him and make him start crying. And then I'd grab him by the hair of the head and sling him around like a fucking wet noodle. And that'd be, I mean, the eye, the eye. What the fuck? <laughs> well, he, he met, what's the Hulkamania Stooge reference? Or, I have no idea. Know? I've never right. Stooge for Hulkamania. I'm probably one of the <laughs> foremost critics of Hulkamania. With, not with, with Hulkamania's ability to change the business or right, ability right, right. to sell tickets <laughs> or to be... Uh, one of the most recognizable characters in the world. Now, listen, what I'm, it's, I, I'll be honest with you. You got to be fucking living in a cave, not to know who Hulk Hogan is. The president of the United States, whoever it might be at that time, and Muhammad Ali, and ti now Tiger Woods. There's four, four of the most recognizable people on this fucking planet, hmm. and I think if they have television on Mars. People would know the president, Ali, Tiger Woods, and Hogan. So, the eye, the eye. I'm not stooging up to Hogan. Hogan's a piece of shit. He's a no good motherfucker. He never carries his wallet. He's always bumming pills and dope. Fuck him. So, the eye, the eye. Well, that kind of answers uh, Peter from Melbourne's question <laughs> What is Hulk Hogan like away from the camera? He never carries a wallet. <clears throat> And he's always coming for pills. And he never shares his dope, ever. He never invited me to his room and said, Here, come on, brother, let's go get, I uh, got some good shit. Let's go get, uh, uh, blow a little bone and get a little weed going. So. Do you, you don't talk to him at all? No. No, no chance of being on Hogan nah, Knows Best, nah, I guess. Nah. They, he don't pay. Nah. Oh. Those guys went there. They didn't get, they, they get, he flew him down. He gave him a meal at his house, a barbecue. Nobody got fucking paid. The he wrestlers that were he don't pay them fucking guys. They got nothing. Wow. A bunch of marks went there. Every one of you fuckers that went there was a bunch of fucking marks because you didn't get paid. And I hope he has you here because he'll he'll pay you. And I hope he asks you, did Hogan pay you? And if you say yes, you're a lying motherfucker because I know you went there. He paid your trance. He put you in a hotel. You had a barbecue at his house, swum around the swimming pool, and you got no payday. His fucking kids make $150,000 that day for that show. You know what you fuckers, you fucking Mark's got? Zero. Wow. Write that down. We pay better than Hogan. Yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> um, As the sheik would say, exactly. Oh, man. Jacko says, Honky Talk Man, how did you manage to travel with Jimmy Hart when he was so buried up Hogan's ass? Uh, but I don't think at that time when, he was, At that right? time he was not up Hogan's ass. He was <clears throat> up uh, the office ass. So uh, Jimmy and I were good together. I can't say anything. I, I can't. You know, it's, it's like the gears when the old stick shift. When you miss a gear, it grinds. But when you hit the gear, the car goes. And, and, and our gears worked, and, and we did very well. We did very well together. You know, back to we, the... We fell apart toward the end because uh, it would be like you and I. If we sat in this hotel room for the next six days, on day five, somebody's going to get fucked up. I mean, you're either going to fuck me up or I'm going to fuck you up. It's just one of those things. It's confined quarters. It's traveling together day after day after day. And, and then finally, two people just... You can never get... When somebody says, I've been married to the same old gal for 50 years, and we're in love... <laughs> Listen, what kind of whips and chains you got in that fucking bedroom? Because I'm going to tell you, you married to the same old gal for 50 years, you're going to have problems. And if you're married to Jimmy Hart, and he's married to me... See, Jimmy never drank, smoked, took any drugs. He was the straightest guy I ever knew. He chased a few whores now. But I would drink, smoke, do the drugs, and he was in charge... Without him, I probably would not have achieved some of the success I had because he would get me up to do the 6 o'clock radio show. And if it, we were on the West Coast, we had to do a 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. drive time. On the East Coast, he'd have me up at 4 in the morning mm. and, and, and be on the 
show and, and for me to promote where we were going and what we were doing. He's a he's a, the greatest front man. Oh. He just Very can't nice. have Hogan's daughter. <laughs> oh, <geez>. the, uh, <clears throat> he references the feud with Jerry Lawler. What, what is that all about? There was, uh, you know, here's a guy that I thought, after all the times that you have said all the negative things about a company, you've shown negative publicity, negative DVDs, videos, you've done everything negative for 10 years against a company. Then he comes along and says, it was business. Well, what would you say to Lawler if you walked in here right now? Anything? He's a sorry you, I'm sorry piece of shit. You swing first, I'll take <clears> your <throat> fucking punch. After that, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. You ain't man enough to beat my ass, you fucking prick. He's a no good motherfucker. He walks up to me one night. Uh, yeah. I guess kind of linked to the Hall of Fame thing, he says, what are your thoughts on Howard Finkel and the other office guys, I think Howard Finkel. I think we bunched this in because I think he's the kind of the contact for the Howard. Hall of Fame. Howard, that true? Howard is it, it, on the old mass shows on TV. There was a guy called Radar. Radar had ear had had the ears. He heard everything and he had the eyes. Howard Finkel is Radar. He he befriends you. A nice guy, lovely person. He has, I guess, what I hear, one of the largest collections of triple uh, X sex tapes of anybody in the world. Uh, not homemade. Well, whatever he does on his on his own time is his business. But uh, we all got skeletons in the closet. But but anyway, Howard, I, that was my nickname. I gave him Radar, because on the Mass Show, Radar was the guy who had the ins and outs on everything that was happening on the base. Uh, any of the other office guys that you got along with particularly well, or maybe Mary Kill. You know this game? I'm gonna give you three names. Okay. I've seen this before. One you have to fuck. You gotta fuck one of them. You gotta marry one of them, and you gotta kill one of them. Okay. All right. Sonny, Francine, and Missy. I'm assuming he means Missy Hyatt. Ah. Uh, Francine, Missy. Fuck, marry, kill. Ooh. I saw Sonny not long ago, and she's got herself back together now. She's very fuckable again. Uh, Missy. At one time, she was the most fuckable. Francine, I, from what I understand, I'd probably have to kill that bitch. Okay. Kill is always the easiest one if you've ever played this game, if you know that. And then you got to decide between who's marriage material and who's just the uh, the. I see material. Mae Young there, and uh, well, that 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 was going to be the follow up. How China. about Mula Mae Young or China of those three? Huh. Oh boy. You'd have to ask Harley or Nick Bockwinkle about them guys. I mean, fuck. Uh, <laughs> or Terry Funk or Dory Funk or Moolah, May Young. I would go with Moolah as says, uh, yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would give her a whirl. Yeah. And then uh, probably China just to see if it was, I don't know. I was never around May too much. I mean, I don't know. The five o'clock shadow with China uh, kind of bothers me. So, but Mula might be good marriage material because she's probably got some coin from. Uh... Yeah, but she's an old hateful bitch, hard to live with. I know that. <clears throat> Nobody can live with Mula. Okay. Hell, girl, the girls couldn't even get along with her. Let's move on. Um, yeah, those are hard questions. Yeah, th who, those are those are tougher that, than. Who wrote that question? Uh, Jordan. Jordan, holy fuck! You must be one of the boys to write that shit. <laughs> 